Alrighty, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Do appreciate y'all being here. Happy Saturday. Hopefully everybody's having a great having a great day. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. How's everybody doing today? What's happening? Um, Jacob, there is a little bit of uh, uh, slurry. Not slurry. Manure. Uh, manure. There's definitely a little bit of manure. A bus, or, uh, um, no, no, no. Well, six of pizza. Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all. Uh, let's get back to it. Were we just climbing on the manure? Yeah, my, my boots smell like something now. Oh, I hear these boots are made for walking. Oh. Not just in manure. Oh. oh. I think, um, guys, help, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm That's your problem, not a problem. Uh, Trent, like are we ready to fast travel? I think fast travel. Last time, uh, two hundred seventy-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine yeah. liters. It's a great way to get on the. Oh, okay. It's a great way to get on the roof, isn't it? It is. Are the cows cows fed? Yep. Yeah. So you guys are just waiting on me to fast time, huh? More or less. Oh, fun. Hold on. So, oh, what's in? I didn't even look at what's on sale. That was good, uh, right? Not that we can oh. afford it. Yeah. What are we holding for, Sarge? No, that was it. All right. We can afford that. Yeah, we can afford to trade out the rates. I don't need it, though. I know Trent hates the rake that we have. Absolutely hates it with a passion. Trent used the rake that we have? I don't hate it, it's it? just not finished. <laughs> so it's homemade, Trent. It doesn't have hydraulics. You gotta go out and, you know, lower some turnbuckles on my hand. Now, now go, we're Johnny. now we're talking in the sail barn here, boys. Twenty one fifty combine. Oh, the two plus two. Read the stupid combine. We don't have enough money for that. Yeah, John, we're too poor for that two plus two. Yeah, we're too poor. I walk this lonely <laughs> road, the only road that I ever Uh oh, look at our price on beans, guys. So it's say in July, but like I'm pretty happy with that price compared to last uh, year, right? Uh, 34? 34. 34. Yeah, we can get our straw. Oh, yeah, that was the next thing I was going to look at after renting the train. What's the working with of the uh, Oxbow? Sorry? No, the, um, the manure spreader. Oh, no. Because it doesn't, it doesn't actually say in the information. You know, the problem is you got to buy the whole Oxbow. Yeah, it's four hundred eighty thousand. That's a lot. We could buy a spreader for less than that. Too bad you're broke. Yeah. Uh, so field thirty four, uh, forty two thousand dollars. But that gives us the straw that we need because the cows are out of straw now, right? More than likely, yes. Yes. So that'll hold us over until we get. Now, in fairness, I guess next day in game we get our own straw, but this will ensure that we are able to like top off our straw. Be back in a minute. Gonna take a quick break myself. All right, search. We're good. And you know we own three combines, so we don't we we don't need the John Deere, right? No. All right, contract is ours. Uh, I'm gonna work on selling meats, okay? Cause that's a good price. So we're poor now, but it's just way like three minutes, you know. We'll still be poor, just a little less poor. That's how it works. Just be a little less poor. Uh, Please make sure you sell all the beans this time. I will definitely sell all of the beans, okay? <laughs> all the beans. I will not leave a train load and a half in storage like I did last time. That Are was we... Barley. Where did we park the Oxbow? Uh, I parked it on the hill out in front of the yard. Found it. Should be able to customize it though. 
Oh, yeah. I guess you can technically send those trucks straight to 34. He'll do what? That's 58.6. You can send those green trucks to 34. Okay. Um, where's that cell? The dryer? Oh. Huh. The green. Sorry. 30 water eaters. To the mill, right? Or do we just want to haul it home? No. Or do we want to haul it? It would be from fields to the home and then a smaller trailer then to cell point. I mean, we have three trailers. So I don't think we need to worry about that. Is that under cell points? Or is that a production? I don't actually know what the uh, that'd be production. Okay. Uh, which hey, we're just gonna drive. It's just easier. Right, it's got a grain mill. It is the grain mill. Grain mill. Okay. What, what are you gonna do to it? I know, Trent. I just had to find it, okay? Odd. Gosh. Truck's on its way to 34. First one. The Super B's gonna end up back at home, but I'm. It's, I want it to empty itself so I can keep working on hauling me. Feel free to transfer, right? Yeah, I'll take $130,000 or $49,000. Yeah. You betcha. I could I could buy some tractors with that money, you know. Buy a house. What, who am I kidding? Not anymore, not with this today. Yeah, not anymore. in this economy. <laughs> I could buy like a room of a house. So not it. it's like trying to find a place to buy for like last year. It's like the houses that I would probably not even buy for like Hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh, you want like five hundred fifty, hundred seventy-five? I'm like, why? Uh -huh. Doesn't even have AC cooling. <laughs> it's window units. Why do right. I want that? So, hear me out. I'm listening. Under manure spreaders. Yeah. The very last one off the premium expansion. That's the one we were looking at the other day, actually. So it's not as wide as the slurry, no. but it it'll still keep up. So we could do slurry and then manure right behind it. Yeah. Now, if we go pro level of that, which we don't have the money to go pro right now, but eventual, you know, goals, life goals. We uh, well, we need a way to haul manure because right now all we have is grain trailers, right? Mm hmm. And then we have that transfer station thing, that self propeller or not self propeller tow behind transfer station thing. And you like take that to your field and then use that as like your field bin to, to fill up your spreader, you know? Right. Eventually. Or you make manure spreading a offline uh, auto drive and course play thing. Right. And so when it's an empty, it just goes back to the bin and fills up and it takes like 84 hours. That's an option as well. That's a cheaper option, uh, to be honest. All right, so that was one load of beans, by the way. At what, 400, whatever it was, 1,000? Not too bad. Pretty good chunk. Yeah. And then, okay, this Super B is going to be at 34 as well. All right, so are we getting combines rallied up? Or oh, we got a combine already out there. Okay, got two combines out there. Okay, cool. And I'm on my way with the third one, although I'm gonna have to jump here in a few minutes. Okay, that's fine. Guess get ready for bed. 
only four o'clock. Four thirty, where he's at. You know. And well, that's why I said it. Yes, get like try to get ready. Are we gone for we like a month, bear, or like a week? Week. Dang. So. All right. Dropping the kids off. Finishing packing. Going to bed. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Hey, you don't want to be like super tired for a flight, right? Right. Uh, other John, I guess whenever you go east west, you can jump on GPS. I say we'll have to get the. Their uh, combined heads aren't all the same, right? I think they are actually. Could be 30 foot. Are they actually all the same? No way. Nine. Nine, nine one. one. I mean, they're all 30 foot. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They planned ahead. Didn't even know it. Yeah, definitely, Jacob. Jacob, to have a good flight and a good vacation. Hashtag not jealous, I swear. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if that's really my type of vacation, but still, you know. All right, yours is about I mean, You mean all you can eat food and drinks and the beach and the pool and. See, I'm not a beach guy or a pool guy. Well. I like to look at the beach. Like, it's cool, you know, to be like beach adjacent, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's. Did I, did I tell you about one of the features of, of this uh, area that we're going to? No. Um, there's a. There's an area where you can go to the beach uh, with or without oh, okay. things. I figured that's where this was going for some reason. <laughs> so bears go in there. All right. I, you know, I've never, I've never, I've never done that. Yeah. Right. And, you know, hell, I'm, you know, I'm 40 years old. I'm a boomer. Right. Yeah. I'm old. Yeah. yeah. When, when else am I going to have the opportunity? Nothing but the, nothing but the dad shoes, right? I mean... Might even kick those up a little bit. Giggity. You keep getting posts about Destin. Must be a sign. Spot check. Interesting. Never been there either. Destin's not bad. Yeah. A 40 isn't a boomer age. Yeah, that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said. I like you, Static. White New Balance <laughs> and a smile. <laughs> well, uh, you, you're forgetting about my umbrella drink, but yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, you gotta have yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah. And the and the what's it the on the nose? You gotta, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the one stripe of sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm Caucasian. I'm not that Caucasian. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I I I have had this thing in my head for a long time i want to go down to like somewhere your brain on the, huh oh sorry brain your brain no that's that's gone it evaporated um i want to go down to like somewhere on the gulf and like rent a condo and just sit like on a 12-story balcony for yeah. like a week you know and play video games no no and just like Look out to the to the water. I know it might sound weird, but like I, I have this thing, and that's someday it'll happen. Maybe someday. For some reason, that's what I want to do. That's like that would be like a. What's stopping you? Uh, money. My fear of leaving my house. <laughs> oh. Well, you don't want it bad enough, then. No, nope, not yet. Maybe someday. Not not quite yet. Someday, uh, guys. Yep, someday. There's probably like somewhere closer I could, uh, maybe not with like you know the Gulf of Mexico, uh, but like you know overlooking you know up on a bluff or something, you know. Yeah. Kind of, kind of redneck that little little trip there, you know. A little redneck Riviera action. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like ran a, ran a place up on the bluff. You're on to Biloxi, Mississippi for a week in July. Awesome. Awesome, Jeff. That sounds like fun. 
I guess. Not for me, but you know. I'm cutting a land for anybody that's interested. Chuck lives an hour from the golf and he doesn't do that. But Chuck, it's like, you know, I live by the St. Louis Arch and I never go there. <laughs> you don't do the stuff that's around you, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, I, mean, I don't go to the Washington Monument. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because you live kind of close, right? Somewhere there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't ever do that. Ooh. Look at these peas. Wow. They're so flowery. There, do you guys want, want us to wait for you? Uh, we can do that. He's got in the land, man. He's blazing this trail. Hey, somebody's got him. <laughs> Figured I was late. Might as well do something productive. Hey, I hear you. Uh, after I get done selling beans, what do I need to do? Um, hey, do you guys need another grain cart? Uh, Baylor. probably not. Probably Baylor. Baylor, take your combine over, Baylor. Huh. Yeah, Bail and, 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 and take my combine over whenever I'm done. Wait, Trent, what are you doing now? Combine. Oh, you stay in the combine. Right. But you asked what what you need to do. Yeah, just whatever. That was Casey. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Trent, what's your GPS with? Uh, thirty thirty-two. Thirty thirty-two. Mine's a 30.05. I say on a 30 foot head. Hey, that's about an auto, too. You guys should all probably put yours at 30. Right? And, and then everybody synced up because you're probably leaving skippers right now. I had to guess. Yeah. 30.05. Oh, I rented the train for 25.1 bushels of beans. You every, betcha. Uh, every dollar counts, John. Okay. The farm is great. The farm is great. We finally have some money I can breathe again. Why are we fast typing that two, two times? Oh, that was you. I don't know. I must have hit a button. Uh, twice. Three times. So what's the final one that we're going to sit on? 30. 30. As close to 30 as you can get. Oh, oh sorry. Got it. Yeah. I would say, yeah, as close to 30. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What's happened? Oh, why did I shifted? Yeah. Mid pass, right? Mid pass. Of course. You can reset when you get to the end. Of course. Or just. <laughs> the, Too late. Too late leg. now. <laughs> I had to juke. I had to juke something. Somebody, it was a groundhog. I had to juke him. Hey, there might still be a rogue bail out in that field. I'm not sure. Do we want to keep the pipes? Out of the crap. How fast are you filling up? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Go, uh, uh go to Bear's Lane that he's cutting. It's a contract, so. Yeah, but that's... I mean, I am cutting a land for a reason. Whoa. No. So much aggressive. I mean, at All least right. I'm not creating a lot of soil compaction. That thousand dollars for me. And that really hey, you for, uh, paid for the $151. train. Boys, we can uh, we can we can go to Casey's for lunch now. <laughs> That's the best news ever. Uh, tractor and bailer, right? For now, yes. All right, I will break out an appropriate size tractor to run a bailer. That's close how, enough. How funny, how funny would it be if I just, like, when my wife gets back home, be like, hey, I'm kind of tired. Let's not do this vacation thing. <laughs> Staycation. <laughs> Let's just stay here. Let's drop uh, the kids off and just sleep all week. Is it too late to cancel? Like, can you get your money back? Uh, no, I cannot get my money back. <laughs> so, Trent. Bear, where's your GPS line up? Oh, 
Do we have any GPS issues? Uh, he's leaving a skipper. Or, I'm leaving a skipper. I'm 30 foot. Head. So I'm at 29.99. So John's on too. Now we change it to 20 again. You know we changed it again. Well, I was saying, 30 and 29.99 is the same thing. There's nothing wrong with a staycation except, or if you have a vacation booked and paid for. <laughs> Then there's a lot wrong with the staycation. <laughs> Just saying. Uh -oh. You had buffalo chicken dip for the first time, and it's not that bad. Are you saying it's good? I think yeah, that's great. what people say. That's what people say when they don't want to admit it's great. Dude, no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Buffalo chicken dip is, is awesome. It's pretty it's pretty fire. If it's made right. Let me be very clear. Because what was what holiday was? As long that? as there's cat cat hair in it, we're fine. Uh, that may not be a problem soon. For the record, I heard something the other day. Oh lord. Oh cat might be uh not making it too much longer. <laughs> on its last legs. Yeah. Lies eight or nine, you know? uh, probably like nine and a half right now, you know. <laughs> oh, um, I is, forget that, what... is that why? Is that why brother <laughs> showed up at your house yesterday to get, get no. ammunition? No, Jesus, <laughs> he came over to get like a four foot drill bit. He's working on his house for like running <laughs> Ethernet or something. I guess. Hey, I Pop, she got any 17? <laughs> Hey, well, that's two days in a row, bro. You're hitting bangers. I'm sorry. You did the pork chop recipe with chicken instead. Interesting. Pork chop check. recipes. Pork chop sandwiches. We gotta get out of here. You must have missed the original cat air story. Okay, so hang on. Back it up. Oh, reverse Terry. Back at New Year's. No, it was New Year's. It was New Year's. I went out to my brother's house, like we had a family thing, and there was buffalo chicken dip made by the cat hair brother. And like Beeline Freddy. Dude, yep. the the amount of grease that was in this buffalo chicken dip, like separated grease floating on top, like you could stir it and instantly you could see the grease again. Ugh. Okay, it was disgusting. So yeah, because I even said something to my brother-in-law. I was like, what is up with this? And he's like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't eat any. It was nasty. The original cat hair story. I love telling this one. Just as much as BMWs. Um, the original cat hair story is years and years and years and years ago. Uh, we had a Thanksgiving at my house. And, you know, we do the Thanksgiving of, hey, everybody bring something. Especially back in those days. So my one brother decided he was going to bring the mashed potatoes. Problem is he had a long haired white cat at the time. And the cat's hair was everywhere. And my brother's not exactly the best at keeping a house clean when you had a cat like that. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, there was cat hair in the mashed potatoes. And not like a little bit either, like a lop it. And, uh, I don't know how many people noticed. I know my mom and I noticed, and like we, neither one of us ate the mashed potatoes after that. And uh, frankly, the oh boy, uh, frankly the uh, the meal was kind of ruined after that. So, ruined. Yeah. So since then, he's not allowed to make the mashed potatoes. Although I think he made them last year. I'm not sure. I'm not involved in the decision, or they don't ask me to like bring anything. They just like treat me like I'm a nerd. Great or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not involved, so. What? Sounds <laughs> We got to have a cart full of floor, yeah. Um, can we upgrade grain cart? Do you upgrade. need a bigger grain cart? <laughs> I, <laughs> can we yeah, upgrade the grain cart? Why is it always left? Again. It's like, can we upgrade? Do I need to grab Jonathan's a... At Hold on. 70. Do I need to grab a grain cart instead of this till Sarge gets back? Then we can have... 
Yeah, I, I almost need a hundred bushel break room at this point. I'm gonna upgrade to the ten fifty. Uh so, that's a semi load. Uh, did you say buy it? No. I heard buy it. I, I heard buy it. I never said I said um I was trying to figure out what tractor to run a green card on. We we know your uh, your comms. So. No, you don't. <laughs> that, that sounded like it said bye. Sell, sell, sell. No, no, no. He said stand by, not buy. <laughs> Who's stand? Oh, usual. Stand by your man. You know. Stand, stand by me. Don't actually. Please stay away from me. I left. Especially you. <laughs> Especially now. Oh, you're sick. Yeah. I'm on the way. 47.55 and I are on the case. I'm going to stop right here. Left. Okay. We're, we're on, on the on the job. Huh? It's wagon. I'm trying right. to multi. I need to repair this tractor. Multi-track here. Are you packing and playing farm sim? <laughs> I'm actually unloading my... Uh, Oh, unloading okay. my uh, laptop bag ah so that I can actually I can put like you know my carry-on stuff in here yeah because you don't need your work laptop because I don't need my laptop and I don't need my all my ledger pads and my laptop charger and all official. that fun stuff very yeah. official. Oh. well I'm an official guy you know uh sure yeah do, uh, though do remind me when I get back like in a week, uh, okay? Yeah. Because uh -huh. every, everybody will forget. Yeah. Yeah. To ask me about, uh, you know, our opening salvo today with uh, me being fired. Wait, did you actually get fired? Wait. No, 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 no. no. Of course not. Yeah. I'm here, Trent. Calm down. I'm here. You might fill up, but I'm here. All right, those honey roasted pistachios are going to stay right there for the plane ride. Trent, hit the button. I am. Hit the button. Is <laughs> you see where you are. I, I've hit it like three times. He's, it, there's your problem. There's your hit problem. the button. Hit the button. <laughs> You're going to complain about getting full. You got to hit the button. <laughs> oh. Hilarious. Don't make me turn this gray card around, boy. <laughs> Gosh. You Why are you? You're going to be driving a train car. Why are you not a GPS? I can't wait to buy this field and get rid of this, like, grass strip here, for the record. Yeah, it's going to be a while. You're done. No. no, first landscaping we need to do is the top of field 10. Because that was a pain in the rear end. And then he left to... the skipper. <laughs> I, I left. Yeah, field 10 needs to be fixed for sure. I just haven't gotten to it yet. It's if, a if we had our, uh, <laughs> if this was our field, John, you could have hit the Relax, John. I'm going to hit the button, okay? All right, good. Look at that. Look, see how, like, professional that was? You see that? P row professional. Oh, you're empty. I was like, what are you doing? I don't have my inspector open, so, you know. Uh, blood pressure. What's up? <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> All right. I want to pack these. What's up? My blood pressure. My blood pressure. When you, like, talk through your teeth, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Gosh. Hurry up. Wow. You don't need to be emptied again, do you? I'm 50. You don't understand. Trent needs a truck. Okay, see, that's my fault. I slid. I, that's my. Okay. That's my bad. Sorry, dog. I have no brakes, you know. That's a new for me, dog. I should have grabbed the big John Deere. I kind of didn't see it until I was already in this one, and then I was like, well. Yeah, but you have the appropriate size tractor for the cart. You're telling me the articulated tractor is too big for this cart? That's why we need a 1050. A ten fifty. <clears throat> Who knew? Sorry. For this mm. green cart? Yeah, Kenzie ten fifty. Oh the oh god. What hello. 
That's 300 horsepower. Or 230, I, I think, horsepower yeah, required. That's only 240. I thought you meant the Fenton 1050. And I was like, Jonathan's cleaning up my mistakes. No. Because oh. the, uh, the A8960 is 370. Plans were changed. Bear, it's all good. Look at that. 98%. I'm off to the truck. Okay, bye. This is where I miss having the, uh, the, the, the Rudolphs, you know? Trailers. Because we could, yeah. We could be times, are times are changing, though. I know, and I don't like it. I don't like change. I'm an American. Therefore, we hate change. Um. No? Okay. You don't hate change? You like change? I don't know. Only only change for the better. But is it better? I get like change for the better is like when like you know Taco Bell lowers their prices, right? Like that's the change for the better. Yeah, it doesn't happen though. Yeah, and that's never gonna happen. So, have you? I I haven't had it yet, but their new like cantina menu. You heard about this stuff? Uh, I've heard about the menu, but I don't know what... I mean, I've heard that there is a cantina menu, but I don't know what's on it. They have a quesadilla, chicken cantina quesadilla, right? And it's basically the same as the old quesadilla, just with the new chicken. Mm-hmm. It's like $9. <gasps> oh. Yeah. And it's like, I want to try it, but like... Well, first off, Does I... Does it I, raise your metabolism and make you lose weight? I doubt it. That's probably not worth it. Yeah. What keeps you going on this game if you didn't have a friend to play with? Uh, I'm boring, and uh, no, I don't know. I uh, what keeps you going on any game? You just you're enjoying your time, you know. Multiplayer definitely helps. Yes, uh, streaming it definitely helps for me. But I put in like probably 28, 30 hours last week off stream as well, like single player basically I mean, on the server but yeah I just really like the game I have a lot of fun playing the game you know so yeah we don't have friends we have acquaintances yeah friends play to each other oh man yeah playing other games hey, that look, if help. you're actually at that loves and not at a different terminal yeah. we could actually wave to my john yeah we could hold the horns and everything <laughs> you guys could have stopped and shared some grandma's cookies or something right goodness uh but yeah playing other games once in a while helps i take days like a lot of times on uh sundays or wednesdays i don't play anything that helps too that just helps in general with like game fatigue burnout uh but i enjoy the game so i i play it a ton so i know i'm weird but i do enjoy the game a lot yeah, i was like who's full up there it's left and then bear so we'll wait for bear look at that and plus you know with this game like you can play it a thousand different ways you know you want big fast modded equipment that you know is insane you can do that or if you want like old school more realistic stuff you can do that too so that's what's kind of nice about it you can play it however you want each time every map can be different yeah many that play okay. yep definitely Jeff there are a lot of maps as well Chuck. yeah that's that's very true oh the money mod oh that that would ruin it for me a hundred percent of the time as well yeah because then there's no goal. So, like, 
the other day we were working like i worked my butt off last week on stream and off stream to make enough money to buy the cows now that we got the cows going it's like okay what's our next goal land equipment you know so there's always there's always another goal out there you know and then when there's no more goals that's when we move on and go to a different map so appreciate the follow thank you thank you so yeah or you know we uh one time we might use like fast modded equipment the next time we might use like old school equipment we started this one with pretty much old school stuff we're slowly moving up and getting newer stuff yeah and to uninstall it and figure out ways to make the money there you go yeah, i don't recommend that government mod uh, or the, the money mod i don't Play the game, learn the game. Do contracts. We've done we've done a whole map and where we where when we started we didn't own anything. And we just did contracts. That's it. And then we slowly started buying equipment and stuff. And we ended up owning like a bunch of our own stuff, but we started just buying or just by doing contracts. That's it. Yep, logging, mining, there's all kinds of stuff, yeah. You betcha. Uh, grab gutter, fair play, but yeah, yeah, for, for testing reasons, I can see it, but other than that, get that mod out of here. Because I do have a testing map with money, yeah, fair play. Wait. Actually, I'd hide right now. Well, easy dev controls. I can get money. Yeah. On kind of a uh, test map, you know. This is going to be my last, uh, my last pass. Okay, bear. Good, all good. They should make the money. You don't have to download the money mod. I mean, it's up to the player, you know. Up to the player. Yeah. But at least you're on PC with Farm Sim. That's good. That way you have access to all the fun mods. Yeah. That's good. Oh, definitely teach your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know, it's... They don't put it in the game. That's what's so good about uh, farm sim in general is everybody can play however they want. You know, I'll, I'll say that forever. The best part of farm sim, everybody can play how they want and do what they want and how they want to do it. You know, just because we're playing this map this way doesn't mean that like anybody else has to play this way. Yeah. I'll right back and go get the mail real quick. Right. Guess what time it is. Tool well, time? Probably. <laughs> yeah, it's tool time. Well, it's probably time for Bear to skadoodle here in a minute. But it's also probably uh, pizza time for, uh, for pizza. I had to guess. Tool time. God, that was such a good show. The same. Time to go get your pizza, BRB. I'll get. Enjoy. Be safe. Miller time. I don't know about that. God, all the combines are just out there on their own right now. Well, Trent stepped away, right? So he's parked, yeah. 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 I only got one combine running right now. Oh. Right. So if, if I'm going to upgrade a green card now, would be the time. <laughs> Here he goes with his green card talk. I'm not talking, I'm just, you know, the 850 would be fine. 
Ghostbusters, yeah. Yeah. Did the Super V, like, is he, is he okay? Oh, oh he's he on left. His, yeah, he's on his way back. Yeah. I just want to make sure he was, you know, doing his thing. Right. Wow. Interesting, uh, Sammy. Interesting. And there's, you know, like I said, there, there's no wrong way to play farm sim, so don't be, like, sorry to use it. If you enjoy the, that side of farm sim, the, the landscaping, the customization, then more power to you. Have fun with it, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Struggle busting. Oh, wow. Interesting, Jeff. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, bear. Have a good week. Yep, I might be on and off here and there, but... Oh, stay offline. Yeah, I'll probably die. Enjoy your trip. All right, let's catch y'all. We'll See you, catch baby. you later, bear. Have a good one. Wow. I didn't think he'd ever leave. I have to say it, Chad. I literally have to say it. All right, so left, what are we looking at? What do you mean? Two plus two? Oh. <laughs> ah, heart you bear. <laughs> oh. Where do you find auto drive? Uh, that's from the GitHub. The GitHub. We're looking at one of the Kinsey's, right? Yeah, I would say just do the 850 for now. If that's not enough, we can. I mean, that's upgrade. 851 bushels. We're going from 600 up to 850. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good job. And I'll trade in the one Parker for it. 240 horsepower. We want like giant tires. Nah. Uh, let's go. We'll run into issues with the unloading, probably. Oh. So maybe some the good for one year. So I like those. They're not too wide. They're one of the narrow ones. I would say we're probably good, right? I think we're good with trading one Parker for it. I'd say, right? Yeah. All right, with eight thousand dollars gone. Uh, thanks for the uh, follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome in. Make sure you paint it, bear it. I have to get the yeah. top dollar. Cause I don't know about you, but this one is like almost dead. The screen card. Then I guess I can jump in. Uh, maybe jump what? in to come in. Yeah, once I get this yeah. swap, so. swapped out. Because yep. then I can unload two and a half combines instead of just two. Yeah. My bubble buddy, what's up? How's it going? Poppin', how are you? What's pop? Ha! I didn't. I didn't quite mean it like that, but you know, what's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in, right? How did he get out in the middle of the field, but like there's no skippers anywhere? Like how did Bear do that? Oh, he's Clee was cleaning up skippers, I bet. Our, G our GPS is not set, right? Oh, there is to it, but it's fine. It'll buff. Work, aim, sleep, repeat. I think I've seen a t-shirt like that before.
Just throwing that out there. I'm pretty sure I've seen the t-shirt like that once or twice. There's like the eat sleep game or whatever. That's one I've seen. But yeah, there's all kinds of those uh, t-shirts. All right, I'm going to get bears come by and empty and then I'm heading to the semi. So if you want to go straight to uh, John. Yeah. I assume you're over this way somewhere already. I don't know. Yeah. And no brakes. I got to remember that. There's no brakes. None. That's not the right button. That one folds the pipe in. We are running the manual discharge mod, so we have to hit the button empty the combines. And I don't think I'm actually going to get this combine empty, but close enough. Close enough. What is? Never mind. Right, we'll park this on the end. Eat, sleep, arm, repeat. There you go. Eat, sleep, arm, repeat. There you go. All right. Did Trent stay in his combine? Probably. Man. Oh, wait, no. Is he standing on the ladder, isn't he? He's legit standing. Yeah, he's standing on the ladder. <laughs> he is guarding the combine. That's just where you go when you get out of the combine. That's funny. Look at that Kinsey grain cart, y'all. Upgrades. Look at that. Looks good. Looks good on that. That tractor, I really like that tractor, by the way. Mm-hmm. Made me empty. Yeah. I'll take as much as I can, then. That is, okay. I was using that tractor for hauling bales, although it struggles <laughs> up the hills with the bale trailer a little bit at times. It's got ups and downs, but yeah, it's a good tractor. I gotta get closer. It's bothering me. It's not actually going in the cart. That's better. Not great. Yeah, it's, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Now with the, the cart and planter we have, little tippy. Little tippy with that. Tools might help with, with that. I don't know. Not sure. But yeah, solid grain cart. I liked it. So I guess I want to grab a tractor or combine while John's down here. This I'm thinking so. Yeah. Yep. There we go. We'll just uh, just let that run. It don't matter. All right, John, your GPS was on 29.99, right? That's what this one's on as well. Nine, nine, nine. For the low, low price. $29.99. Bubble Buddy, you build grain carts? That's cool. That's pretty neat. I thought this was rye, by the way. This is barley. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the whole time this was rye. Because in fairness, in the menu, rye and barley are pretty close in color. Just saying. Yeah, okay, whatever. It's fine. It'll buff. It'll buff. Well, at least we're getting something done, right? <laughs> I know. Ah, we are. The painful part of this field is going to be bailing and picking them up. I think if we get the rake in here and start combining one rows, it would help. Yeah, we probably should. Probably should. That would be good. Although, I mean, it's not that bad, I guess. Either way, it's a lot of passes across the field. That's all. All oh, this unload rate's so nice here compared to the worker. Oh my. Are you you are you make Brent green parts? That's cool. 
It's pretty cool. There's uh, quite a few of those around us in real life. Quite a few of those. Gonna plow through the uh, yeah, leg. What's going on? <laughs> Tapping. So uh, I think these Kinsies might need to be in the future mode pack for the record. <laughs> Big fan, huh? Uh, the load rate is nice. Is it like OP nice or just like? It's just nice compared to the Parker. Yeah. Uh, not much is up here. I'm just checking the weather. Sorry. 62 tomorrow and windy. Well, they came back down a little bit on the winds, but still up to 20. That's pretty windy for the farm. I mean, it isn't. It isn't. Yeah. I'm hoping to do a bunch of plowing tomorrow, chat. That's all I know. I'm very excited about it, too. Very, very, very excited about it. The interesting thing is if it's too windy on the one direction of the shed, but well, he can't open that door, we'll have to move the, the laser, the, the old laser, Xmark laser that we have that has no engine in it right now. We'll have to move that somehow first. The whole thing. Bradley, what's going on? Biggest one you make, 2,500 bushels. Nice. I talked you into it. You bought it on Steam. What did I talk you into? Wait, what did I do? What did I do? I didn't do nothing. I'm back. Welcome back. I saw oh. that we got the uh, new grain cart. Yeah. The slide upgrade. Uh, farming's going great. Farming's going great. 850 or uh, 1050? Eight. Small upgrades, you know? We can't afford small upgrades. We can't afford big ones. Wait, how much? I don't even know the price difference. Didn't even look at it. Talked you into buying Farms in 22. Oh, the way you were talking earlier, I thought you already owned the game. Well, I am coming uh, on the pass to Jonathan's right. Okay. And you are set to 29.99, right? Yeah, I, I was all this time. Well, they're, they're skippers, though. Skippers. Weird. 99 Weird. silent, but it's close enough. Oh. I don't know. Rather, we're doing, we're doing, I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm great. <laughs> what does a bushel? Uh, what is the bushel to liter ratio? Uh, I forget. You'd have to Google it. I don't, I don't know it off the top of my head. A bushel, according to Google, is 35.23 liters. There you go. 35. There you go. Okay. Any other recommendations for simulators? You got farm sim and truck sim. Um, I've been playing Railroader a lot lately as well. I guess you could call it a like a sim, right? Uh, oh, you had the previous ones, but not this one. Okay, I got it. But I've been playing a bunch of Railroader. If you like trains, that's a really fun game. Uh, still in early access type stuff it's not a finished game they they actually updated it today big update today uh for railroader but i've been playing that a lot lately that game is super fun um like i said if you like trains that's a good one any other recommendations for simulators i mean flight sims fun for like five minutes but i wouldn't you know yeah Power wash sim. See, the lawn mowing sim, I wouldn't recommend that at all. 
I don't. I couldn't do that game. I tried, and then they, they bullied me. So, oh yeah, construction sim. ETS2. Yeah, but ETS2 is basically the same game as... Same, same but it's not, I know, of ATS. Uh, construction sim's a really good one. He's taking notes. Hold on. <laughs> construction sim is really fun if you like, uh, like operating equipment and stuff in, in games. It's really good on an Xbox controller. That's for sure. Yeah. That one's really good. I was waiting for somebody to say goat sim. Goat simulator. <laughs> yep. Goat simulator is the best simulator of all time. Yeah, Supermarket Sim. I feel like that's a game that's going to be here for five minutes and then it's done. Once people get tired of it, it's, it's just going to disappear like so fast. I feel like, honestly. And Goat Sim, yeah. Yeah, I feel like supermarket sims, it's going to disappear. It's going to be like gas station sim where, like, everybody playing it now and then, like, it's going to disappear and fall off the face of the earth and then they'll put out a DLC, like, I don't even know what a DLC for supermarket sim would be, but, like, online orders or something. I don't know. And then, like, everybody will play it again for a little while and then it'll fall off the face of the earth again. That's what I feel like. Um... Supermarket Sim is going to do. But that's just my opinion. Okay, bye left. Well, I've, I had to get Jonathan <laughs> help me up. Yeah, Jonathan was helping me up. Trant? Oh, boy. There's mods for it. Wow. Oh, it's at the top. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know. It's not... Uh, not a game that I'm going to play. Let's put it that way. Not a game I'm going to play. But actually, let's let's look here real fast. What other sims do I... Construction sim's a great one. Captain of Industry is not really a sim, but that's another really fun game. Uh, still being updated and stuff uh, as well. Um, light sim I have... Out, this out of or game is going to be a game eventually uh, that I'm going to play like w a way a lot of, but it's not quite there yet for me. Not quite there yet. Um, Yeah. If you want racism simulator, there's a game called Rust. <laughs> that was good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Supermarket mod, two ninety nine sale price. I don't know. <laughs> Factory. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you've ever played in a uh, public Rust server, you you know, you know. That is trash. Okay. As far as like the racism stuff. Built Mulch. Comes out soon. I don't know what that, what that one is. I'll have to look that up. But out of ore. Out of ore. Um, looks, it, it's, it's going to be good, right? It's going to be a great game someday. Not quite there yet for me. <laughs> what? Someday. Oh yeah. No, someday. Someday it's going to be a great game. Rust is crazy. This game came out in 20, what? 18. Oh, there's a number three. Okay. Hang on. Oh, it's the game where you just, like, smack everything with a hammer. Number three. The third one's coming out, huh? Interesting. I'm looking at the trailer right now.
Interesting. Dude. It's so loud. It's so loud. In this game, you ha you can run a crane with a wrecking ball. Yo, where's Miley Cyrus at? This could be kind of fun. Just go in a house and smash stuff? Dude, I might be here for this. Um, release date is just 2024. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Judge, what's up? How are you? Uh, Jacob, you have a valid point. Yeah. I think they will. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Automation Empire just, uh, man, Automation Empire had so much potential too. It really, it really did. And they just stopped. Customization. The mods keeping the game alive. Uh, yeah. There's a cat simulator. Are we talking cat like the construction brand? Or are we talking cat like the kind that meow? Because if it's the kind that meow, um, burn it with fire. Yeah. Oh. Cat Sim has been in development for a while and looks amazing. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Um, welcome in. What's going on? It's not the kind that meow then, right? It's the construction brand. Right? You guys are pulling my leg right now. Did I Google it? Cat simulator. We're going to Google that. Oh my god, it's actually the meow kind. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cat life simulator. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> no way. No way, that's what we're talking about right now. Yes. multiplayer as for a friend i don't know in the steam in the trailer there's a cat walking along like this the top of like this little wall thing and there's a flower pot and it just walks up and goes Oop, and knocks the flower pot off the wall. okay that's kind of funny this reminds me of the of the the duck game did you guys ever see the duck game you know uh -huh. what i'm talking about where you had to like you were a duck and you had to do stuff oh you get to pounce on birds Whoa! Oh uh, is it multiplayer? Uh, single player. Yeah, single player. This game is wicked. What's it called? Cat Life Simulator. What the heck, y'all? You left now. All you need is some a couple couple duels, and it'll look pretty good with, on that grand cart. <laughs> the cool cat or the mashed potato cat? <laughs> Untitled Goose Game. That's the one, Joe. Yo. Yo. Jacob's down to 94. Oh, no. It's all going to burn. An excavator. That's what Out of War is going to be, is basically an excavator sim. <laughs> yeah. Out of War. Well, there's also the game Gold Rush, but that game's garbage. So, yeah. Why did the chicken? I'm just not going to laugh at that. We're not going to laugh at that. Mm. Don't laugh at that, John. 
Uh, Untitled Goose Game. That's the game. My my nephew played has played that, and it's hilarious. I watched YouTube videos of it, I guess. I don't know if he's played it. It's a weird game. It is a very, uh, very, very weird game. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So you can change your fur, put on hats, jewelry. Is there a homeless sim? What? What? Uh, Sarge's comment, uh, works was, pretty well with that. I was sort of like forever ago, uh, uh, train. I know, but it corresponds to what oh. you just said. There legitimately is a homeless sim. <laughs> That's what I was making a reference to. And in the trailer, Buddy has a box of matches and he's lighting packages on fire. There truly is a sim for everything, right? Beef sim. I'm Googling all of I'm all of these chat. We're we're learning so much today about simulators that I'm never gonna play. The cat simulator I can see you play in though. Why? I don't know why. I'm not a cat <laughs> guy. I mean, oh, that's there is a thief sim. Yeah. You think that could help me, like, land a cat lady? Like, you know, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. So, John, it looks like they're taking down the Starship pad legs down at 39A. Starship? Why? There's a sim for everything, whether they're... Yeah, that's... Grab Gunner hit it on the head here. Yes, there is a sim for everything. Are they good, though? No. No. Definitely not. Wow. Streamer sim. What is streamer sim? Is that actually a game too? It is real. Huh? So we can play streamer sim while we're streaming and try to get fake followers and real followers at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like double dipping? <laughs> Thanks for the follow in the game, LOL. How does that work? Streamer Sim is a legitimate game. Came out in 2020. Guys. Guys, what, I, Johnny? Just, I just don't know how I feel about some of these game titles. The Cat oh. Sim one is very Easter. I would just be a Chaos Cat. You know? I'm a Streamer Sim. All right. The Night After Taco Bell Sim. me that's not actually a thing it can't be a thing i don't see a steam page for it so wait it... it's not a thing okay good all right i was concerned for a second that that was a real game <laughs> That should be called, like, clean your sewer sim, you know? Just saying. Oh, gosh. Chat. Chat, chat, chat. What the heck, y'all? Oh, man, some of that stuff's too funny. So when's the cat sim come out? I didn't look. Coming soon. I mean, soon. 2024, right? Mm -hmm. We might have to be. I feel like that's going to be huge on Twitch. It's going to be huge. Yeah. That is going to be. I should email the company and be like, yo, I'm <laughs> on board. Send me a key early. Let's do some cat simming. Thoughts? Meow. Sign it, meow. That's the strat. Try to get early access to cat sim. <laughs> 
Uh, where's your cars today? Send an email. Let's go. My gosh. Stray. Yep. When Stray, Stray was that other cat game. That thing was massive for like a month or less. That thing was huge. Yeah. Review. It's the cat's meow. Everybody knows that I'm like not a fan of cats. So it would be really, really like ironic if I started playing that game when it comes out. Be very weird. That's funny. The detail was amazing. Yeah. This cat life sim, it looks pretty, pretty good. To, like detail wise, it looks great. I don't know about gameplay wise, but detail wise, it looks phenomenal. Uh, you guys want to turn like to your right and get this side of the field done, just so we don't have to drive all the way over there. I think there's only two passes. That's fine. Get it done. Might be a skipper. That was done before GPS got reset. I do believe. Okay, I've heard it all now. Heard it all. And you, we can't mention these sims without visceral cleanup detail. I guess that's a sim, right? Kind of. Yeah. The 2 a.m. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, good old visceral cleanup detail. That game is very fun, but very... It, it's, it's a little too much sometimes. Super fun, though. What do you got over there, Trent? Two? You what? Two passes, or how many you got? Uh, two. Right. No skippers? Uh, there is a skipper. All right, so there's three passes. All right, everybody's driving crazy. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. What do you do? Oh, my God. I'm getting on GPS over here while still harvesting. Good thing we're raking the field. That's all I know. My goodness. Somebody left a bale in the way. I was told to grab a bale. So they're far. Well, like I said, good thing we're raking. They're far. There's a couple bales in the way. <laughs> Not just one. You're welcome. Oh, man. You're, you're running the slalom over there. Oh, gosh. We're running the bale slalom. Have we, have we hauled the contract yet or no? That's not contracts. There you go. Uh, we are 54% delivered and 67% done. 230,000 liters to go. 230,800. Okay. Fine. Just if we have any extra, we should take it home. Oh, and I left a hay bale in the way, teacher. I already passed the hay bale. You, you, I know. That's the first one. I forgot until I just thought, okay. Bye, Liv. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. Bye. Seven to eight inches. Up to maybe nine. Wow, Sean. So, Sean, I shouldn't tell you. It's like 60 degrees here and uh, sunny. There's a couple, couple like high clouds, but like sunny. Looks really nice outside. It's a little chilly. It's about 60 or something. I think I'm not. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'll tell you, Sean. Sean, I'm going to be playing a new game sometime later this year. It's called Cat Life Simulator. Look it up. You might get kicked out of that one left. Oh, it's 51 outside. 51. Lost emergency key. That's not good. You're not supposed to lose those. Saying. 
51 and kind of kind of windy so i feel a little chilly here at live simulator i'm playing it oh that was funny i'm playing what gonna lurk all right all good all good all good storm chaser sim that would be kind of interesting right like who can get the can you imagine that in multiplayer oh dude that would be kind of sick actually because you could set up in different places and then like the tornado would be the storms would act like real that would be cool pizza welcome back we are we're doing we're just about done with this part of the field we got up north to do still but that's not that bad Biggest thing is we need to run some enros up there and then so we can have places to turn because nothing's square. But other than that, we're fine. We're chilling. Just doing a contract, trying to get some straw. Our cows are out of straw right now, so. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> but it's all good. No bets, Sean. No bets. As long as the main character's voice is Bill Paxton. Wow. That's funny. That is funny. Multiple teams trying to get the best data on the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Storm Chaser. There you go. Owen. Let's go. Can you hit the unload button again, please? Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Couldn't tell. Sorry, I'm looking up Storm Chaser. Oh, actual chat instead of virtual chat? Yeah. Storm Chaser. I gotta scroll down real far to get to the Steam listing. <laughs> There's everything else about Storm Chaser. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. It is legitimately, legitimately a game. It came out in 2019. Oh, hello. Hi. It has... Uh, <laughs> what? It has online PvP. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that amuses me. Online PvP, online co-op. Bro, we might have to buy this. It's in early access still, apparently. Since, you know, it came out in 2019. Oh my god. Can you imagine if you're just like chasing a tornado and then a cow pops up, you know? Or a shark. The <laughs> shark. No, oh, that's Sharknado hmm. Simulator, not Tornado. And we might have a problem here that you guys might get full. Was that? Uh, both green cards are getting emptied right now. Oh, both trucks are gone? <clears throat> Couldn't set the other one. Oh, he sent it. Oh, because so we could harvest. I was like, wait a minute, something stuck or what? It, the trailer doesn't look... Oh, you have a health bar. The, the other guy will be back in 30 seconds. Oh, your windshield can break from him. I might have to buy this game. I'm going to leave that tab open. I'm not even kidding. It might be a game I play in my own time, but... Kind of funny. Hey, John, go ahead and just run with his pass. We'll we'll do some end row. Well, um, I mean, at the minimum, we can just keep doing what we're doing. What? Go run around like we've been doing. I'm saying on this edge, though, we're not going to run GPS. We're going to run with your pass. Oh, yeah. I'm fine going round and round, but let's just get some end rows. Yeah. Cocaine shark. It's a coke. That, that, that was a couple of weeks ago, John. It's a cocaine shark, Dato. I didn't either. I didn't either. I've never heard of a storm chasing game. I'm here for it. It could just be fun to go in and mess around in, you know? 
Oh man. Online PvP. But like I hire a tornado to go after like, you know, somebody else. Is that what it is? Remember the game because you saw a guy on Twitch playing it? Wow. The vehicle info is called uh, Vehicle Inspector. It's available in the mod hub for PC. Only. Yep, PC only. Not a console mod. It's another fun mod that you guys just don't get on console and it sucks. But the console players don't get. Oh yeah. I wonder if Reed Timmer did any voiceovers. I don't know. Um, let's see. For twelve ninety nine, I'm I'll probably pick it up later later tonight. Or maybe I'll watch like some uh watch some YouTube videos or something about it first. Oh you play on PC, there you go. You can get it. It's under the gameplay section in the mod hub. I'd have to scroll for a while, but it's there. It's definitely there. Or you, you can always search it. As well. Pretty sure one of the guys from the show, Storm Chaser, does the talk. Okay. I left at the bright side of this. Both trucks are empty now. Yeah, um, but all three combines are full. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, hole in one. I'm only 50. No, it's only 70. Only uh, 70? Yeah. Just getting everything recaught back up is going to be a pain. Gotta be. You got a bigger cart. Oh, God, son, which one? Which one? I forgot about that. that was way back in the day, man. Way back in the day. So are we about to have an unload party? Yeah, uh, pretty much. Not. Trent just teleported. Hey, I'm helping the, the auger cart guy out. My immersion. My immersion. remember those days Sean yep I remember that <laughs> what did he say yeah I remember that and do you remember it was funny right made you laugh they're far doing my job <laughs> hey, hello all right go back and start over Cheating. Turn that off on our next map, yeah. Alright, where are you going? Gotta go go back there and start. Alright, cool. Thanks nice too. Alright. Alright. Go to the end at least and start. Don't just start mid mid pass, you know. I know it's like bottom out to come like Keegan West fail 983 just resubscribed for 27 months. Keegan, welcome back for 27. Do appreciate the resub. How's it going today? Hope all is well. Welcome in. True, Sean. True. Yeah. Very, very true, Sean. What a cluster we have going right now. What a cluster. Uh, I'm doing great. You can tell that the farming is going just swimmingly right now. We're having no issues currently. No issues currently. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
trying to get out of your way. <clears throat> before you guys, might as well get this little end piece up here before you guys go back on long passes. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, man. Everything is awesome. Problem is, one of us is not like the other, you know? <laughs> Not sure which one, but one of these is not like the others. Not that that's, a, I guess it's not. A, makes life a little awkward. At least I have a kitty cat engine. Cool. Very true. Kind that meow, right? You got a bunch of them like in a giant a hamster wheel, you know? Just a run. Right. Yeah. Now we'll hit this. Uh, we get this cleaned up while we're here. Get this spot done, and then uh, we'll be good. Take Ten yards to turn this thing around. Does it not turn because of the uh, tracks? Oh no, it does it with the wheels. Oh. Okay. Plus, uh, cla class, uh, the older classes are like this. Ah. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, 